What is the Dawn Effect and how does it affect blood sugar? Well, let's get into it. The Dawn Effect is an elevation in blood glucose first thing in the morning between 3 a.m. and 8 a.m. Unlike typical glucose spikes, the Dawn Effect isn't a direct result of eating, stress, or exercise. It's a spontaneous increase in your fasting blood sugar that plays a part in getting you ready for the day. So how exactly does this happen and how could it potentially be dangerous for your metabolic health? Both are loaded questions. So let's discover how this happens. The Dawn Effect is actually caused by several interrelated factors, but three that are worth mentioning here are growth hormone, cortisol, and circadian rhythm disruptors. I'll briefly discuss each, starting with growth hormone. Your body releases this throughout the night to help build muscle and maintain bone tissue. Now, as beneficial and necessary as that is, growth hormone not only causes the liver to release glucose into the bloodstream, it also makes your body less sensitive to insulin. So your natural glucose production rises while your ability to use that glucose decreases. That's fascinating, huh? Okay, let's cover cortisol. Just like growth hormone, this stress hormone rises in blood concentration early in the morning and counters the actions of insulin. This makes energy readily available for your muscles, helping you to wake up in the morning and get active. All that being said, the science is mixed on whether or not cortisol plays a role in the Dawn Effect, so the jury is still out on this one. The last factor we'll mention is the disrupted circadian rhythm. Our brain has what's called a suprachiasmatic nuclei that plays a vital role in the regulation of our circadian timing system. Excessive blue light exposure after the sunset can stimulate your suprachiasmatic nuclei at the wrong time and is one way to throw off your circadian rhythm. Unfortunately, disruptions to this internal clock are linked to the dawn effect in people with diabetes. Now, in response to each of these factors increasing the amount of circulating blood sugar, your pancreas secretes insulin to shuttle the glucose into cells for your body to use for energy. This is where it gets pretty interesting because everyone's sensitivity to insulin is different, which means the dawn effect can produce vastly different outcomes across different people. A recent study in China examining blood glucose data from 781 participants found an 8.9% prevalence of the Dawn Effect among participants with no diabetes, a 30.1% prevalence among those with impaired glucose regulation, and a 52.4% prevalence among newly diagnosed type 2 diabetics. So basically, the more intense a person's glucose excursions in general, the more likely they were to experience the Dawn Effect. Now, although high glycemic variability is best avoided, whether or not the Dawn Effect presents a unique risk is unclear. Despite the fact that one study found the Dawn Effect worsened overall glycemic control for diabetic participants, there's still not yet sufficient research to know whether the Dawn Effect represents a health risk for people without diabetes. Either way, here are a few quick strategies to minimize glycemic variability and positively impact how you experience the Dawn Effect. First, prioritize your sleep. Practice good sleep hygiene by keeping your bedroom fully dark and quiet, winding down at the same time every night, and ditching electronics while you're in bed. Second, exercise regularly. In one review, people who did moderate aerobic exercise for 30 minutes, just three times a week, saw a significant improvement in insulin sensitivity in just eight weeks. Exercise is a pillar of metabolic health and something we should all strive to do consistently. Third, avoid late meals. A recent study found that people who ate dinner at 6 p.m. had significantly better glycemic control during the following 24 hours than people who dined at 9 p.m. And lastly, reduce breakfast carbs. Foods that are high in carbohydrates can spike your blood sugar immediately and pile onto the glucose already in your blood from the Dawn Effect. Favor a savory meal to begin your day, or be sure to include protein and fat with your carbs to help slow digestion and minimize a glucose spike. All right. So now you know a little bit about the Dawn Effect. If you wanna learn more about this phenomenon, be sure to visit the link in the description of this video for the full length blog post. While you're at it, subscribe to this channel for more content on all things metabolic health. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.